There we go. All right, welcome. So this is Google Summer of Code, Git Credentials. It's our second mentoring session. It's the 20th of May, uh, 7.30 a.m. India Standard Time. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so Harshith, I think you had mentioned that you had you had some some questions. We could go with those first, and if we could have you share your screen or I can share screen, what whatever you'd prefer. Mm, oh, screen with the document. With, with if it if it helps with your questions, whatever questions you have. Okay, so my first doubt was regarding the <coughs> the snippet we have to generate for the working of the for the working of the git credentials like we have to generate a separate snippet in the pipeline syntax we will we won't be using the with credential binding snippet right i was assuming we would use with credentials and just add a new add a new type so today we've got what is it username and we've got uh, username, password, and we've got private key. And I was assuming we would have a Git username and password and a Git private key as the type so that we know when they give that argument that we need to set the, the collection of what we need to set the correct Git variables to, to allow that to work for command line Git. So I was assuming we would use with credentials. Um, but um, so that means, Mark, that we uh, we would add that in the grid, uh, the credentials binding plugin. That was my assumption. Options. Right. Yeah. So, so this moves from Git. Uh, so that means that um, because I was under the in, uh, impression that the proposal uh, said that we are doing it in the Git client plugin only with a new step with Git. Ah, okay. All right. And I had, I had not caught that in the, okay. So Harshith, maybe we do need to share your, share the proposal. Let's take a look at it. So that's maybe I'm just, I'm off base there. Thanks. Thanks for highlighting that Rishab. So. No, no, I'm sorry, Mark. I was, um, uh, I think there was a discussion there that uh, it could be done uh, in the Git, uh, in the cre uh, credentials binding plugin. Or there could be, I think in the in the project idea we said that we could create a new step, but then Harshit uh, recommended uh, that we could do it it within the uh, credentials binding plugin. So uh, yeah, it'll be best if we just confirm that uh, from and maybe we could discuss uh, which one is a better approach or, or what's Harshit's idea on that. I thought of uh, making the Git plugin compatible with the pipeline, so we could work on that. The Git credential plugin, I thought of taking as a reference rather than working on that. Yeah, and I guess if I remember correctly, I think technically if, if we wanted this to be in with credentials, you can provide a new credentials type. Um, so you'd provide a new implementation of a credential type. Uh, and I think you could potentially put that in either space. So maybe that's where our finding the right space is maybe what we're centering on. Is that? Yeah, well, yeah. So, so, okay. So, so I was, uh, maybe, maybe that's where I've misunderstood the credential system. Everyone okay if I share my screen for just a minute to, to have something concrete to talk to? Yeah, go yes. for it. Because this way I've got I've got a Jenkins instance that I can we can talk to and and reduce number of mistakes that I may be making. Okay, so and I stood up my Docker if I uh, <laughs> if I need to explain that other thing too. Excellent. Okay, so so what I what I have for instance here is a here is a Freestyle, let's see, no, we, do we want freestyle or do we want, 
oh no, we want a we want a pipeline job. So here is a pipeline job that builds the Git plugin and runs its tests. And in this, I was assuming we would do with credentials. Oops, where is the with credentials? With credentials, add a binding, add a new thing here uh, that would allow us to do to do. Um, what do you call it? To do a Git SSH private user private key, but Justin, I think is your point that these are in fact a list of credential types. And so what I, my idea was mistakenly saying we needed to create a new credential type. Yeah, no, yeah, I think well, I think you're saying you need to create a new credential type, right? Like. That's essentially what you need to do. And I think credentials binding is maybe I'll look those up if I remember correctly. Okay, so then, and and that that sounded to me, that sounds to me like more work or different work than I was expecting. My apologies for not having thought that through. So, so what that says is because I was assuming I want to use as a user, I want to use one of my existing private keys. I don't want to have to create a new credential that is this, this other private key. And so I wanted a, a, it to allow me to use any old private key. And, and if we implement it, if, it were, if Harshith implements it as a new credential type, I'll have to define that new credential when I with potentially containing the same private key, but I will have to define that. Right. That's my understanding. Okay, so that all right, well, so then Harshith, it sounds like I had the wrong concept. Maybe we stop sharing my screen and have you you share your concept and let's let's be sure we understand each other. Um, so you were envisioning implementing it in the Git plugin. Yeah. Why? Share the project proposal. Yeah, that may be that may be the best. Let's look at it again. I apologize. I thought I had understood in quite depth, and and obviously I was mistaken. Go ahead. Uh, and it makes sense to uh, look from a point of view uh, development. It makes sense that we uh, we if we are creating new bindings, we would do it in the credentials binding plugin because. It, it is the place where the bindings are, right? So if we're creating new binding, if we're well, creating, yeah. Not exactly. Um, okay. I think that you get new bindings from other plugins. So like, I think uh, Mark had a Docker uh, credential and I think that that credential type actually comes from the Docker plugin when that's installed. Hmm. And the credential binding plugin, if I remember right, is just looking up types of credentials. Yeah, so so I guess conceptually, Justin, what you're saying is that a credential binding for Git SSH private key here could be written in the Git plugin or the Git client plugin. It would then be found by the credentials binding plugin and displayed to the user, but it would be a separate credential type, wouldn't it? Right, right. Okay, all right. So that that shows my my ignorance in writing the project idea. Great. Okay, Harshit. So let's. No, I mean, I think you're fairly general. So I think you're good. Actually, I read it that way from your from the proposal. So, <laughs> so you're all good, man. Okay. And, and I guess I guess it's it's acceptable to do a new credential type. And that does have the benefit that it would be implemented in the Git client plugin or the Git plugin. So Harshith, is, is that what you were envisioning as you were? No, I thought well, uh, if, if we uh, use the, Git, uh, the credential binding plugin, then we have to use the Git client plugin to perform the authentication operations then git plugin won't be that much of use git client plugin will be of more use in that case and and that is just fine placing it in git client plugin makes makes a makes a lot of sense that that would if that's 
because they they travel as a pair, right? I I always if I've got the Git plugin installed, I must have the Git client plugin installed, and so so that's not not a problem. That would be great. Yeah, and, and and I also acknowledge like there may be good reasons to even put it in the credential binding plugin. Uh, I'm not aware of where like I, I'm looking for you, <laughs> you to define kind of where that goes. I think that some of these other ones went in the credential binding plugin because they were useful for generally like lots of plugins. So like I think that's where you know we have the username password and SSH private key are in there. But I think you'll also find that other plugins maybe contribute additional credentials. Once that plugin's installed into Jenkins, then it will see that additional credential type. If that makes sense. Mm, yes. I'll note that my so memory may be hazy on this too. So, so, uh, so Please feel no. free to say that, hey, Justin, you're out of date. <laughs> Listen, I, I had a doubt and please correct me if I'm wrong. So if my credentials are something that uh, many plugins could use, then definitely I would add it in the credentials binding plugin. But if I know that it's specific to my plugin and it's not necessary for others to be available with, then it, I would add it to my own implementation in my own plugin, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, if you even think of it from a user perspective, so mm. if I don't have any Git plugins installed on my Jenkins instance, should I have a Git uh, credential type? Yeah, it does not make sense, yes. And that's going to the fancy, like, again, like if it makes good sense for it not to be in the Git plugin, and there's a good explanation for that, I, I don't think we have to go that far and say, we have the perfect thing that's beautiful and <laughs> <laughs> meets mm. all of the things like, but mm. I, I my understanding understand. is that probably should just work itself out. Okay, so then, mm. then I think what, so is this a case where one of the questions to Harshith would be um, explore a implementing a Implement, whoops, explore, implementing. Well, but okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to pull back then, Justin, because um, I'm going to, I'm, Harshit, are you okay if I stop sharing, sharing your screen and share mine? Yeah. I wanted to show Jenkins again, just, or if you've got a Jenkins up, I could, I could have, we could have you share your, your Jenkins. This is another PC. I don't have in this. Okay, so so then I'm going to start sharing mine. Oh, you can see. Hopefully, you can see it now. Okay, so so when I do this binding, there is user and pass username and password conjoined, and user and username and password separated. Aren't those both representations of a username password? Because there isn't a separate credential that is username and password conjoined, right? The only credentials types that I've got are username, uh, username slash password and um, private key, well, private key and a few others. So it doesn't that hint that the, at least the credentials binding plugin has a way to represent one credential in two different forms? Yeah. Okay. Um... So I see two I implementations might be, be. Sorry, go ahead, Michelle. I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. I I was just looking at the credentials binding plugin, and I see two implementations for the user password uh, binding. It's a user password binding, and it's user password multi binding. Could it be the two you're talking about, the conjoined and? The I th I think so. I think so. What you're seeing is two implementations. When you look inside those implementations, are they both? using the same base credential type, the same base Jenkins credential type, username, uh, maybe maybe, maybe it's worth us looking at those. Okay, so that was... Yeah. Yeah, so I, because a lot of this is based on the type system. Um, so I think that's what's happening there, but we should look at it, yeah. 
again, like, of, <laughs> I definitely acknowledge that I could be, I could be out of date. So. Okay, so you, uh, Rishab, it was in uh, implementation. Yeah, implementation. Yes. So here we've got username password binding, which does a uses a standard username password credentials class. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I think both of those use that one. Okay, and so if and now if we look at multi binding, you would think it's probably the same thing. Standard. Okay, good. All right. So and that I gives think me they do a look up on that credentials ID, um, and then they just represent it differently uh, as variables. So it's kind of like a bridge between the actual credential and like the downstream um, step. Right, right. So, okay. So, and that, that was that now you're, you're, that's for instance, this M dot put here, uh, sorry, is that big enough for people to read there? This M dot put is, is sort of that specific implementation you're describing, right? In the, in the bind here, it's saying, okay, we're going to create a, a variable for username and it's going to have this value. And yeah, we're going to create a variable for 75. password. What was that? On 75, it's doing the lookup. Yeah, so here it goes and grabs that credential. So now I think this may have removed my my earlier worry about, oh dear, are we gonna have to add a new credential type? I think we don't because can't the same thing work here for the SSH user private key binding? Harshith would create a new, maybe call it git SSH private user private key binding or SSH user private key binding for git or something. And then add additional things in the bind step here that are specific to what command line git needs in order to find that private key. So a git SSH command environment variable or those kinds of things. Because, because it, it, this is doing that same get credentials that you mentioned earlier, Justin, isn't it? Yeah, um, I guess the only edge case I could see there potentially is like someone puts, uh, and maybe you're, this is what you're saying is like, uh, I think you're looking for a super type of this that would do all the same things as this, that uh, subtype, sorry, uh, that do, would do all the same things as this, but it would also have that extra, extra stuff um i think we probably would want folks to say this is a actually is a git private key and this is not right and maybe that's getting a little too extra well see i was a, I, I think at least for me i don't want to have to say that this thing is a git private key because i'm already using private keys in lots of places for git Right there, there. Most of the cases where I use private keys already are for Git, and I don't want to have to define a new credential just to be able to use it with this new capability that Harshit's going to implement. So for me, I like it that that this mm -hmm. the, that the SSH user private key binding, or a, I assume a class maybe derived from it. I, I don't know how the implementations look. Is is the multi-binding a, a derivative of the other one? So the challenge there though, is that I think you're gonna need to fill in another variable. And so I think you, or, uh, if I understand correctly, uh, we're trying to fill in another variable, which is the Git version, right? Well, what we're trying, what, one of the things we have to do is at a minimum, so for the SSH case, at a minimum, we have to define the SSH, what is the SSH command? Um, I, there's S, the get SSH command environment variable, which includes in it the SSH command we will use, and that SSH command has the path to the private key file. So, so yes, there is, gotcha. we have to do an additional environment variable for the, the Git version of this. And in this one, we've got to do an additional environment variable, at least one for how do we transmit the, the username password to the user or to the, to the Git command. 
Right, but it's just derived. It's not something that the user has to fill in, right? Correct, right. It is just gotcha. derived. Yes, you're absolutely correct. In fact, we don't want the user to have to think about it. It should just be done inside the code. Now, Harsheth, we've cool. had a lot of conversations between your three mentors, and you haven't you haven't said anything. So stop us and let's let's talk about what what questions do you have and what do you need to know? Arshit, we're not hearing you. Oh, sorry. I mean, Mark, can you share the screen again? Oh, you bet. Sure. So till now, what I understand is that we have to create a, a separate a bind, binding named like a Git credential SSH something like that and uh, we have to drive it from the ssh user and perform it for basic uh, git git tasks that was that was my assumption and that's where justin tell me if where so justin justin's concept was no it's it would be best if we had a separate credential type and i'm still not not entirely sure i understand it but, but harshit you did harshit you described what i was thinking is that there would be some special specialized version of this, not SSH user private key, but get something, get SSH user private key binding that would be the, that would know how to do Git, but it would use the standard or the SSH private key credentials that are already available. It wouldn't define its own SSH private key credential type. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And it oh. would just do the special things that it needs to do uh, to be the Git type of that. Yep. So, so that's that's one of it. Back to the let's see, where was the that that project idea you had shared? It. I think you were sharing the project idea from the Jenkins.io site, weren't you, Harshit? So, if I go to project ideas. And no, that's not it. Sorry. There we go. Project ideas. And here, when this thing was describing Git SSH private key, that was the kind of idea I was at least mentally thinking was it would be a class like this one, but not this one. So it would be this one plus some additional capabilities. And then, then this one was the same kind of idea based on, I don't know if it should be based on multi-binding or binding, I'm not sure. And, and that I think we would need you to investigate which of those two is the better choice in terms of getting uh, delivering the information to command line Git. And I, uh, I think that uh, we implementing these two bindings, what we need in the Git client plugin would be uh, easier for Harshad because then we would have the Git client APIs within, although we could do the same in the Git credentials plugin as well, but uh, sorry, the credentials binding plugin, but uh, very easier within that ecosystem. And, and, and I think that's a good point, which which location should should do it is is a very good point, right? Because just as Justin noted, as Justin noted, this Docker client certificate doesn't have any implementation mm -hmm. here, right? There's no mention of Docker anywhere in the in the credential binding plugin. So that must be coming from another plugin. So I, mm -hmm. I think you've got a very good point, Rishab, that the Git client plugin may be a, a great place to put this. 
And it could then use the implementation, you know, borrow from these implementations or extend them or, you know, whatever makes sense there. Yes, and I, and I think uh, Justin also made the point that without the Git plugin, would we want those credentials? Right, right. If, if, I'm, if I'm not a Git user, why should I have a drop down here which offers me a Git, a Git binding? Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like Rishab is suggesting, and Justin, it sounds like you'd be okay that Harshit, your idea, let's put it in the Git client plugin rather than putting it in the credentials binding plugin, or the proposal is let's let's have you put it into the Git client plugin. That has the benefit that I'm a maintainer of the Git client plugin. I can merge your changes if you propose them. We don't have to go to ask anybody else. So that's that's a real that's a real incentive for us to choose the Git client plugin as the destination. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think it has those other benefits too. So, I mean, most people are probably going to have Git uh, on their Jenkins, but you know, some people might not, and <laughs> it kind of fits nicely. And I think it also would be convenient for for Harshit. So, like, yeah, yeah. I just so everyone's clear, itself. a a Jenkins without Git is is actually immoral i don't know why anyone would have but <laughs> sorry just just kidding just kidding my team foundation server friends really like their their server <laughs> perforce <laughs> per, yes that's another one i loved working with perforce that was great i enjoyed that uh -huh. very much years ago okay so harshit does that piece maybe i should make a note here in the in the notes so um, after discussion, it seems best to implement the two credential bindings in the Git client plugin. Visible only if Git client is installed. And it's a plugin that we're maintainers of. Uh, we can merge without without others. Good. Harshit, are you okay with that? Yeah. I added uh, convenient access to the credential type within the plugin also. Right, makes sense, very good, mm. okay. Not that big of a deal, but cyclic dependency potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now this probably means, okay, does this mean that we have, uh, that will mean either an explicit dependency from Git client to credentials binding. So this will be a new dependency, right? No, if, if the, if the, let's see. I don't think you're going to need to depend on it if you're not already. Okay. Well, you might already have a dependency already because of these types. Well, it, it certainly has a dependency on credentials, but they're provided by the credentials plugin, not by the binding plugin. Right, yeah. And I think you're gonna ditch this dependency because you only need to depend on your credential type. You yeah, actually don't need credentials binding. I think. Well, but but I was I was assuming that some someplace in the Git plugin, it will have to reference um, this notion of a multi-binding or but you would need the ssh user private key potentially unless yeah, you would type on this so so if i subtype on this then i am definitely going to depend on on the credentials binding plugin but i mean that makes sense you can't have this unless we depend on it and then it's that that's that's fair right if 
if you want this functionality and, and we've got many users who want it, then they need credentials binding. That's good idea. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. I mean, I, actually, I'm kind of would be surprised if they don't already have to do that anyways already. Ah, uh, oh, okay. All right. So it may be that they they're already dependent on it. Okay. So, okay, but so there is a mistake here in this statement. It says implemented in the Git plugin. Um, Harshit, you correctly noted, no, it's the Git client plugin that needs this, not really. And Rishab, you're, you agreed and Justin as well that it should be in the Git client plugin, not in the Git plugin. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no, actually, while I was thinking about it, I was thinking more in terms of Git client plugin or the credentials binding plugin. Mm -hmm. But within the Git plugin and the Git client plugin, I am not sure if there's a preference there for me, or I would have to think about it. More. Well, see, the, the, the CLI Git API implementation is down in the Git client. And so That's it's correct. the thing that knows lots about how to do um, how to communicate credentials to command line Git. And since it knows how to communicate credentials to command line Git, it's, it makes sense to me. It really should be the Git client plugin. I should have thought of that when I was drafting this idea. It, I think Git client plugin makes more sense. Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree, yes. Hmm. And also, Mark, I can, uh, in the Git SCM class, I can see that we are using the credentials type or standard username credentials and standard username password credentials, which is coming from a CloudBees plugin. Is it, is it the credentials plugin? It is, right. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so how, yeah. call that out again. It was, you said it was a standard username password credential? Yeah, standard username credentials and standard username password credentials. Super. So yeah, it so, looks like the Git plugin and the Git client plugin both just depend on uh, credentials and SSH credentials. Right. So this will, so Harshit will add a new dependency on credentials binding, and then we'll use that dependency to implement an SSH username multi binding or binding whichever for this one and an, or a username binding and then an SSH one for this one. Got it. You might look into whether you need that too though. You might be able to just directly uh, leverage the same uh, underlying ones and you may not need multi-binding. So you, you might be able to just get away with doing a lookup like these do. Potentially, sorry. I'm also not sure what that's gonna look like. So that's where I'm gonna look for, for you to do the, some work, but does that make sense what I'm saying to anyone? Uh, could you explain that more? I, I did not understand it completely. Yeah, so these credential types are basically extending a multi-binding, which is also a credentials binding thing, but they're extending multi-binding, which provides standard username password credentials. The Git client and Git just look at the credentials plugin classes. Okay. You may be able to get away with just doing a credentials lookup. I think Git credentials, let's see, where does Git credentials come from? That method. I think, uh... does that come from credentials binding? It looks like it's coming from binding.java okay. in this class or multi-binding. It is within the uh, credentials. It's inside the inside this credentials this, binding. Right. Okay. I, by the way, I've never used GitHub's browser. I'm very impressed. That was much better mm -hmm. than I expected. So this is inside the credentials binding plugin. Yeah. So I mean, you could we could decide whether we want to take a dependency on this or not. Like, I, I'll. 
I'll mostly leave that to you, Mark. <laughs> Yeah, the, the dependency is just fine. It me okay. just it was good for me to understand it because that makes sense. It should, and I think it's perfectly reasonable that we that Harshit will add a dependency on credentials binding plugin into the Git client plugin. Cool, makes sense. Because if I, we're going, no. oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm Okay, I was just saying that um, this this should be a good exercise for Harshit uh, for the design document. It means what we're discussing here is essentially how we're going to design uh, those implementations for the credential binding. So right, I, I good so, point. That, okay, so this is good topic to describe in the detailed design document. Yeah. Implement two bindings in Git client plugin, two credential bindings. And then the question is, is it, which are the best, um, what would you call it? Best classes to use as the model for it? Or as the so is it based? So maybe ha yeah, Harshit could answer those questions or try to explore those. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think y'all have a hard time kind of understanding what's going on here, Harshit. So, but definitely let us know if you have questions. I don't think there's a lot of code in these is what kind of what I'm getting at. Right. And to expand on that slightly is like another option could be that you decide that it's not worth taking on the dependency to this exact class. And maybe it makes sense to have, you know, another class that extends binding or multi-binding from from the credentials finding plugin. So. Okay. Use your imagination. Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we should need another class only. I don't think we should take this from a, the previous classes. Uh, I think the question is if you want to build your binding on top of what the binding provides or do you want to start fresh mm -hmm. and just use the credentials API? That's what uh, we're getting at, right, Justin and Mark? Right, I think so. So this one, yeah, at least that was my idea. My thought was if, if it's more convenient to extend the class so that effectively you're borrowing all of the implementation that's inside here, great. Now, or is this, yeah, so that'll be an interesting to see what that means. I suspect with this at symbol, it probably means you, you, you cannot mm. simply extend it, right? Or if you do, you have to provide a replacement descriptor. You have to implement a descriptor inside your replacement. I'm, I'm, I'm not as fluent in these at symbol things as I should be. Yeah, I don't, I think it may yell at you for having duplicate symbols potentially. Right. So, so, so but that, that harsh is certainly a piece for the, just, I think you were asking the question, extend it or implement separately is, is the question. I think implementation, implementing. Sorry, ask implementation or implementing, and then I missed what was the rest. Implementing a separate class. Right. For, for it. Credentials would be a better idea rather than extending it. The right. extending previous one, the user password, multi-binding or the user password binding. And, and that, 
I think that's a good thing for you to explore in the design document. That very good. Okay. Any other topics, any other questions you'd like to discuss, Harshit? Mm, no, but uh, le can I walk through the what I understand from today's session? Yes, please. Absolutely. Okay, so so our uh, basic idea is to make a dependency of Git credential binding in the Git client plugin, and we have to we have I have to explore more on the classes. Uh, on the class of what I have to implement, either a new class or uh, extend the previous one. Also, the class that uh, that will be created if I implement a new one will be using the Git uh, using the credential binding plugin. I think so. So say that again. Could you did I did I capture what you said correctly? Yeah, so I thought so we have to create a separate class to implement the functionality of uh, get operations in the client in the, in the credential plugin. And then we can like use that dependency in the Git client plugin to perform the authentication operations. Okay, now now that one I I'm not sure. I think you mentioned something about the credentials plugin. Did I miss misunderstand that? I don't think you need to modify the credentials plugin at all in this case. Say that. Could you say that again? Okay, I thought uh, like the Git uh, Git client plugin will taking the, uh, the credential binding as a dependency and the credential I was thinking of creating a new class in the credential binding which would be specific for the git operations and then that could relate, relate to the git client plug client plugin for the lower level operations Yeah, so and I think that new credentials binding class actually would be in the git client plugin rather than in the in the credentials binding plugin. So so say that again. Keep, let's keep talking. Say that again. I mean if the class is in the credential in the git client plugin then It's okay to think out loud, Harshit. You can. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. It's a good exercise. So basically, you're measuring uh, the pros and cons of uh, implementing the binding uh, on the Git client plugin or the credentials binding plugin. Mm. Right. Yeah. So as we, as Justin pointed out initially, um, since this binding will, will be closely associated to the Git, Git plugin and its uses, would it be beneficial for us to implement it in the credential binding plugin and be available for all of the plugins? No, the implementation will be in the Git client plugin, hmm. but I am a bit confused upon um, how we will use the Git credential binding as a dependency? We are using the Git credential, sorry, the credential binding plugin just to display the option of a Git credential binding, and then the snippet would be generated, and that that would be used in the pipeline, and the Git client plugin will perform the operations in the backend. 
on that yeah, specific so, object. So I think uh, the dependency on the Git on the uh, credentials binding plugin is more for taking in that um, the binding and multi-binding classes that you can extend from, because those are actually credentials binding uh, plugin classes. Does that make sense? I need to look at the code. Of sure, this. sure, yeah, no worries. And, so, and maybe that's maybe that's what, uh, yeah. As you're doing the document and stuff, like definitely feel free to like play around with the code and like see what kind of makes sense. Try and see if you can get some of this stuff working and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. So Harshith, I thought maybe you were asking this question is, how does the credentials binding plugin find the new credentials binding class that's implemented in the Git client plugin? Did I, are you, or are you already comfortable with the answer to that question? I need to look at it. I have. I will tell you. I need to look at the code also. I need to do some research. I guess in the, on this. Yeah. Well, and as far as I understand it, what it does is it. Justin, you, you, I, I suspect know this far better than I do. It uses Java's own ability to to look at itself, to introspect, to find all implementations of a particular interface. I think that's what it's doing, isn't it? Or an all extension implementations of an extension point. And so because the, this Docker client certificate, even though it's not actually implemented inside the credentials binding plugin, credentials binding finds it by searching in the currently running Jenkins. And, and so that's how Git client plugin will provide it as well. It'll just be found automatically. Justin, did I describe that correctly? Yeah, I, if I remember right, I think there's like an extensions registry that Jenkins has that registers these types of classes. And it, but yeah, I, it's uh, essentially using a form of reflection. I think okay. it's a registry in Jenkins, if I remember right, but it might ah. just be reflection. At the okay, end of the day. so it's it's not even anything as, as exotic as ref, as as introspection or reflection. It's just uh, go look it up. And everybody registers when they come in. Okay, I think so. But it, it might, at the end of the day, just be reflection too. So <laughs> similar thing, similar, similar setup. So one quick way to test that out, Harsh, it would be just create a class where you extend the binding. From the credentials binding plugin and see if you can uh, create the descriptor uh, implementation there and if you can see that uh, in the list of credentials. Hmm. Um, Harshit, have you have you run a have you done the Maven HPI run stuff within a plugin? Because that's super useful for testing things out like this, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. You already know. Excellent. Uh, okay, that's that's very, very good. It took me a, an embarrassingly long time to read to discover that thing. Me too. Oh, nice. Hyperlink, Justin, very good. Love the links. Excellent, okay. So 
Harshit, other, oh, I guess I have a question before we're, we're approaching the end of our hour. I have another question in terms of what are good times to meet? And I've got, um, so let's see, good times to meet and uh, Mark's news. So does this, this time I think we decided works reasonably, which, which days work work well i'm not available to, let's see today is wednesday is that right i'm not available tomorrow at this time and then i'm gone to go visit my grandchildren until monday but i could meet or till next tuesday india time i could meet next tuesday um i could also do next thursday could do both what works well for others I could do, you're talking about Tuesday evening seven? Yes, right. Our time ish. <laughs> right, exactly. Next Tuesday <laughs> at this same time, next Thursday at this. Oh, sorry. When, and when I say Justin, this, this is complicated. When I say Tuesday, I'm talking India Standard Time. So you and me, Monday. Oh, okay. And, and Thursday would be Wednesday for us. I think either of those would work for me. So. Harshit, Rishab, do those two yeah, days same. work for you? Yeah, they can. Yes. Is there another day or time that's better for you? No, this is, this timing is okay, but if we have to decide, then it should be in the evening in IST. Oh, evening IST is better for you. Yeah, or early in the morning or evening. I guess two, there are two options for me. Okay, sir, early evening IST, for me at least, tends to collide with my business meetings with my colleagues in Europe. So, because early evening IST for is early morning uh, mountain time for me here near Denver. Okay, oh, we'll also work. Um, let's see, I'm gonna bring up a calendar, just a minute. So if we look here at next week, so right now it is 3 a.m. UTC. Okay, so if we look at next week's calendar, thinking about there's 3 a.m. UTC, oops, or would it be roughly 12 hours, 12 hours offset, Harshit, that would work well for you? If you wanted to do evening IST? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm okay with the evening and morning both. Oh, you are, okay. I mean, you yeah, Ash, we should vote for the majority. If everyone is okay, then we could decide on that. Okay, and, and Rishab, I think your preference was likely India Standard Time evening? If it's okay with everyone. I don't have a problem with the morning, but I'm not a morning person. That is why I'm saying that, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I can be. It, it's, it's a good exercise for me to wake up early. Yeah, so my my evenings are much more open than my mornings are. So for me, evenings these the time we're doing now works much better for me. Uh, Justin, your your are you okay with with that with e yeah. your evenings your time? Yeah, I mean, I I uh, definitely want to support uh, kind of harsher than the majority. Um, I can I can make this time work, no problem. Uh, morning works for me also, if if that's something that we want to go for. But yeah, this works. This time works. Well, okay. So if if morning works for you, then maybe what we do because the next piece is I've Harshit, I'm I have been approved to donate a kidney to my nephew, and I will go offline June the 9th for surgery. And so, so 
we're going to look for somebody else to act as the third mentor here, but Rishab and, and Justin would do it. So maybe we should go for mornings, try to find two mornings that work. And that way we're not, we're not inconveniencing Rishab. And Justin, you said you don't mind mornings. Mornings are okay for you. Yeah, I can't do 9 a.m. my time. So we can work we can work around the times, I think, probably. But I think we were normally doing like a little earlier than that anyway. So I'm assuming that's kind of like what we would be talking about in terms of time. Yeah. Okay, and, it, so. and it's totally fine for me to not break, to not, uh, you know, it's okay for the time we have right now. If that's what Justin and Mark, you both have, uh, you're both comfortable with, I, I can be, it's okay. It's not like I, I have a problem. I am free at this time. So it's not a problem. Yeah, and, and that's very kind of you. The, the notion I was thinking is that it may be easier on Justin to do it during his working day, and then he's still got his evenings free. So, well, so. my working day is not that great either. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of okay either way, really. So I don't want to make, make anything difficult. Okay, same. so then go ahead, Rishab. No, I was just saying I, I have the same notion. Oh, you're you're both very kind. That's great. Well, so then then I'm gonna admit that for the next for for the next meeting, I'm gonna put it at the same time. Perfect. And and we well, wait a sec, wait a sec. Maybe I just lied because I think I may have a collision already because today... oh, oh now you're committed, sir. Yeah, okay. exactly. See, <laughs> see it's what I've got is next time is next Monday is Doc's office hours and it collides with this time. Yeah, so so I would need to do this on Wednesday India time, not Tuesday to hit this exact time. Harshit, would that be okay? So for you, it would be Wednesday morning, your time we would meet and then we could meet either Thursday or Friday morning your time. Yeah. Oh, I, I, if I remember correctly, Harshit, one hour. So you've got class that starts right now, don't you? Um, yes. Okay, so, so we can't just make this one hour later. And if we make it one hour earlier, we're being really painful on, on Risha because then it's <laughs> 6.30 a.m. and that's really early. <laughs> yeah, that challenge is <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm going to propose then let's go with Tuesday, the 25th. Oh, no, sorry. Is that is yeah. so that just feels like a long time away. If it's necessary, it can be 630. I'd be barely there. <laughs> that, no, we want you we want your brain engaged, not just your body present. So that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and send the invitation for next Tuesday or next Wednesday, India Standard Time, the 26th. Harshi, let's have conversations through chat between now and then. If you have questions, that feels like a, a long time. That's almost a week for us. Be, that is a week between our, our chances to talk together. And that's awfully long. Either that or, or the rest of the team could get together. Um, Friday or Monday without me. You don't. I don't have to be here. So you could all meet on Monday during that time or Tuesday during that time if that works for you. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So, so it depends on you, Harshit, if you have uh, if you have accumulated or doubt, you know, to discuss them earlier so we could keep it you know, on those days, Friday or Monday. Okay. So I can tell you by the evening or it has to be fixed right now. Oh, no, no, no. You can, you can just notify us. You can just tell us. That's great. I'm going to tentatively put one on the calendar and we can adjust it. So I don't yeah. mean to make it seem like we have to have the answer. We don't. Absolutely. All we need to do is get an answer that works for everybody. So I'll put something on the calendar 
And if that doesn't work for you, please, please say, suggest a different time. All right, thanks oh. everybody. Sorry for the long meeting. Good luck in class today, Harshit. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a great trip, Mark.